Okay, so hello guys. For this discussion video, we have to have more of examples for the family of curves. Okay, let's start this one with finding the family of curves for the circle centered at the origin. Okay, so we have circles centered at the origin. If we look at or if we inspect the equation of the conic sections, specifically on the equation of a circle, we will have the general equation of a circle, which is x minus h squared plus y minus k squared is equal to r squared. Wherein, if we have to consider that a circle is centered at the origin, your h and k will be equal to zero. Wherein, we will have the final equation, this one will be 0, this one will be 0, our final equation will be x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. Okay, from this equation, we have to perform our differentiation. Take note that what we have here is one arbitrary constant, which is, which is r. So therefore, if we have one arbitrary constant, we need to perform one differentiation or one derivative only. So we have to eliminate our arbitrary constant. So if we have to perform our differentiation here, or our implicit differentiation, we will have, so we have, so 2x dx plus 2y dy is equal to the derivative of your constant will be equal to 0. Next, we could simplify this equation or we could reduce this equation into its lowest form and we will have x dx plus y dy is equal to 0. Okay, so we could inspect our equation here and take note we could not further perform any operation here. That's why this one will be considered as our final answer. Okay, next one, we have to perform another, another given equation here, wherein we will have to solve for the family of curves of circle with the center on the x-axis. Okay, so if we go back on the concept of analytic geometry, so if we are given, for example, in our given coordinate system, so we will have this one. If it is said that your circle is having your center at the x-axis, therefore, your circle is having a center somewhere in this axis. That means that if it is aligned with your x-axis, therefore, the value of your y will be equal to 0, or the value of the y in your center will be equal to 0. So going back again to the equation or general equation of a circle, we will have x minus h squared plus y minus k squared is equal to r squared. Take note again, as what I am saying, you will have the equation of the or the value of your center, wherein the value of y on the center or the coordinate of y at, as a center will be equal to 0. Because we are looking at the center of a circle lying on the x-axis. Therefore, our equation will then be equal to x minus h squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. Next one. So, since we already established our equation, we need to perform our differentiation. And take note once again that we have here arbitrary constants. So take note, we have h as an arbitrary constant, we have r as our 
arbitrary constants. Therefore, we need to perform two differentiations here. So considering the concept of elimination of, of arbitrary constant, if we have two arbitrary constants present in our equation, therefore we need also to perform two differentiation. So let's start our differentiation here. So we will have, okay, deriving this one, so we will have 2 times x minus h using the chain rule, and then we will have we differentiated x value, therefore we have to add dx here, plus the derivative of your y squared is 2y dy. Derivative of your constant will be equal to 0. Next, since we have this equation, we could simplify this equation, giving us, so dividing this whole equation by 2, it will give us x minus h dx plus y dy is equal to 0. Next one, so we have, we could divide the whole equation by dx in order for us to have the value of dy over dx dividing the whole equation by dx so we will have so x minus h plus y dy over dx is equal to zero next one so we have as what we are saying we have to perform this one or we need to perform our second differentiation so this one we have already performed our first differentiation so we have so differentiating x minus h we will have so second differentiation for our second differentiation we need to perform differentiation for this equation so we have so differentiating x minus h, therefore we will have the derivative of x. This one is constant, therefore the derivative of x minus h will be equal to dx plus. Next we have, so derivative of this one. So derivative of this one, we have two functions here. First function or first equation and second function. So therefore, since we have two functions here, we need to perform the multiplication or the product rule. So wherein we have to copy first the first equation y, and then we need to perform the or derivative of dy over dx. This will be, kung i-derive ta, ang ato nga first derivative, what we will have here, so is so let us substitute this one by y prime para hindi kita mag-confuse. So himuon ko siya y prime para hindi kita confuse. Therefore, we will have so derivative of y prime will be equal to y double prime. Plus, so since we are performing the product rule, therefore we need to copy sa atong second equation which is y prime. Next, there we have to multiply it with the derivative of the first. Derivative of y is y prime. Is equal to 0. So based on this equation, we have to simplify our equation. Okay, so take note, since we use y prime, therefore, hindi tayo kinalan dx ha, so we need to derive this one. Derivative of x will be equal to 1. This, kagin, substitute tanto siya by y prime, kagin di dy over dx. So we have 1, we have y, y double prime, plus y prime multiplied by y prime. So we need to simplify now. So we will have 1 plus y, y double prime plus y prime squared is equal to zero so if we would like to express this or or to express this in this general form we need to rearrange our equation so starting with your highest na derivative na degree so we're in we start with y double prime so we have y double prime atun nga start so y double prime plus y prime squared plus 1 is equal to 0. So, if you inspect 
our equation now. So we were able to perform duaka differentiation. We were able to eliminate also duanaton arbitrary constants. So since we could not further further perform our simplification in this equation, therefore this one is now our final answer.